got to talk to Gene earlier today, asked about the emotions of today as he knew he was going to be receiving his National League champions ring. He wanted to win every day, and I'm glad that last season he got the opportunity to do that. They're facing Matt Straub at five innings so far, one inning of relief, and then four innings as a starting pitcher. And ain't giving up nothing. Swing and a miss, one away. Three pitches, one out here in the first. Stretch position. And another knock for Arise as he goes through the right side. That moves Cooper up 90 feet. Fly ball right center field. That's pretty well hit. On the run is Marsh. Marsh is there to make the catch. What a play. Wow, did he close quickly. He gets the throw into second base. One two pitch. Did he go? They appeal. Yes, he did, says the first base up by Nate Tomlinson. De La Cruz didn't love it. He was brilliant. A hundred pitches to get through Minnesota. Last week and now he faces the Phils here on a Monday night in Philadelphia. Sandy ready with a one two pitch to Schwarber. That's going to be a strikeout looking good already and that'll bring up Gene Segura. Third baseman Gene Segura. In these situations you got to let them have their moment. Yes. Because I'll tell you that it means the world to a Gene. Line drive caught by Stott his double play partner for half the year. There's a smile. Ground ball to short. Trey Turner waits for it. Seven pitches, six strikes. One, two, three, go the Marlins. No scores we had at the bottom of the second inning. <laughs> this one is in the air out toward left field. Looks like the ballpark's going to hold it. And it's De La Cruz to put it away. Six up and six down for Sandy. John Birdie, the shortstop for the Marlins, will start it off. Swing and miss. From second or third strikeout, excuse me. And add another hit. So Cooper's been seeing him well. Again, not a huge sample size, but a home run in that single right there because he's given up two hits tonight. He'd only given up one hit in his first five innings all year this year. And he's given up two hits to Luis Arise. What, th third week into the season? Ball's popped up. Cody Clemens, Bryson Stott. Stott calls him off. That makes the grab. The inning's over. Jake Cave will lead off of the Phillies. We go to the last of the third. You know. Oh, that ball's golf deep to right field. The Phillies have a one-nothing lead. Jake Cave. Woo, baby. His first home run in a Phil's uniform. And he crushed it. Went right off the auxiliary scoreboard and right. One-nothing Phillies. Line drive out to left center. That'll drop for a hit. Stock <laughs> continues this hitting streak. It's a 10 straight games. Looper out toward right center. That's going to drop for a hit. Stock moving with two outs. Is able to score easily. Two nothing Phillies. Castellanos lines it out toward left. It's pretty deep. De La Cruz going back. It's off the base of the wall. Turner will score. Schwarber will go to third standing. And another double for Castellanos. Three nothing Phillies. That one's lined to left center. That's in for a hit. Two more will score. Alec Baum with a two-run single, and the Phillies keep adding on. And we ain't done yet. Marsh out to left. It's not deep. De La Cruz coming in. He's not going to get it. It bounces into foul territory. Going to second is Marsh. He'll slide in with a double. The Phillies have second and third. Not done yet is right. 4-3 on the putout. Side is retired. Gene last time up lined out sharply to second. Uh, yes, Hardy did. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Four strikeouts. For Matt Straub. Well, obviously he's given up five here. He gave up five or more just three times last year. Once in May, once in August, once in September. A couple of six earned runs. Great leaping play over there at first base. Mel Stoudemire Jr. and Skip Schumacher and the training staff going out to check on Sandy. Yeah, I wonder what this is. I mean, Jacob Stallings went out right away, started walking out right away because he saw something. Okay, they're going to leave. Okay, that's good news. You do not want to see. No. Let's uh, look back at the last pitch, see if we can pick up what Stallings saw. Nobody knows him better than Jacob, so. And that is uh, right there on your screen. That's your franchise right there. So you'd be, you'd be careful with him. Bounced to arise. And there are two away. One, two coming to stop. And a swing and a miss. Good bounce back inning for Alcantara. Gets the strikeout. Strom. Well, he said he's going to talk to himself. He just doesn't want to offend anybody. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. He got him. Strom with six strikeouts.
five scoreless innings. Stallings wants to make sure that they're on the same page. For Alcantara, it's the first time a team has batted around against him since August 6, 2021, before entries close on April 20th at 4.59. That ball is spun out toward the left side, and Trey Turner is going to have a leadoff single. Schwarber lines one to the right. That's in for a hit. Turner, round second, holds up there. Oh, the Phillies just keep on getting some good swings. First time in his career, he's had seven doubles in the first ten games of the season. That's a base hit to right field. Turner's around third, being waved home. Schwarber slides in safely. RBI single. Pulled up the third base line. That's going to stay fair. Segura has no play. It's an infield hit. It scores Schwarber. Phillies lead it 7 nothing. Makes that walk in the call of the bullpen. So seven runs are in, still responsible for two more for Sandy Alcantara. Unfortunately, not his night tonight. Devin Smeltzer out of South Jersey is the new pitcher. Marsh lines one to ah. right center field. That's it for a base hit. It's going to go to the scoreboard. That's three, baby. Yeah, two are going to score. Nope, Marsh is going to hold up at second. And the Phillies add on a couple more. They lead it 9 nothing. Nine is a season high. And Stott. Saves a few more scorecards in the building and ends the inning. Welcome to the big leagues, McKinley Moore. He's got some stuff. That's off the end of the bat, right at Schwarber. Look, he at, waits. Schwarber. Look at the Schwarbenator. Makes the catch. That's a heck of a major league debut. That'll bring up Kyle Schwarber. There's oh a line drive gosh. base hit to right field. It's a double for Schwarber. He's got two hits tonight. Ground ball back toward the middle. Diving stop birdie. He stumbles, throws, not in time. Run scores. Nick's got three RBIs. If he decided to let oh it loose. My goodness. There's a towering fly ball to deep left center field. That one is long gone. Alec Baum is having himself a night. And so are the Phils. They caught it and flipped it to the fans with two outs. All right, it's my time to shine, Nelly. Watch out. And now the inning is over. Yuli getting his second start in as many days. Not the same lineup. This one is hit out to left, and it's gone. A solo home run. Yuli Gurriel is first as a Marlin with a little playing time today. He cashes in. And the ball up high, so the home run and back to back walks. Mar Ground ball to shortstop. Sosa on the backhand. Not going to double up birdie. So McKinley Moore has his major league debut in the books. He's responsible for a couple base runners. And here is Andrew Vasquez. Ground ball through for a base hit. They'll hold birdie at third base with a 689 ERA. And those numbers are just going to go up as Garrett Cooper pokes a base hit into right field, scoring birdie. Ground ball right side. Stott to his left. He's got it. And the inning is finally over. All right, guys, it's yes, one uh, ball, one ball, no strikes to Stubbs, who lines one off the that. glove of the second baseman, Hampson, and into right field. This is third inning. Part He's of chewing up some that's of innings. Another multi-hit game for Stott. That ball's hit sharply into left field, a base hit. One will score. Stott will stop at third. RBI a single for Pache. Strike three calls. And Nick's been thrown out of the ball game. He just put a mark down on the dirt as to where that pitch was. He's been ejected. And a ground ball to third base for Segura. Goes to second. And that'll do it. He led off the seventh with his first homer as a Miami Barlin. He was one for four yesterday against the Mets. And here's a line drive that's off the glove of Bohm into left field. And the base knock for Guriel. Still in high school in that play. Good play. Oh, that's a good play. Vasquez underhands to first. That's 13 pitches. The eighth inning, Brandon Marsh will lead things off for the Phillies. That ball's hit well. Out towards center field, and it is gone! Wow. Marsh with some pop! And the Phillies putting a hurt on the fish. Yeah, really. Cage oh skies God. one out to right center field. That's well hit. Going out is Chisholm again, and it's off the base of the scoreboard. Cape runs well. Cape runs well. He's going to stop at second, though. Well, here's Stott. This is one oh. off the lip of the grass at first. And Smeltzer's there to cover. That'll wrap up this eighth inning. Here's Garrett Cooper. Line drive out toward left center. That'll be in for a base hit. So Cooper has his third hit of the night. Ground ball right side. Stott waits for it. He's got it. 
And the ball game is over. What a win for the Phils. They explode offensively. They win it 15-3.